Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Edgar Cole and Alexander Lehin. This game was played in San Remo, Italy, in 1930. Edgar Cole had white pieces and he started with d4. Alexander Lehin played knight to f6. Why to move? What opening would Cole play? Hmm? Well, he decided to play his own opening. Knight to f3, d5. And what would Alehin play against Cole opening? Hmm? Well, Alehin decided to play not Anklo Cole opening, but anti Cole opening. The game continued. e3, bishop to f5, ready to meet white light skinned bishop bishop to d3 black to move what would you do now i guess bishop takes bishop comes to mind or maybe bishop to g6 but not e6 then bishop takes bishop and the pawn structure is damaged do you agree well alehin played e6 he didn't worry about his pawn structure. Bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, and call castle kingside. That from b to d7, c4, d takes on c4, queen to a4, bishop to d6, knight from b to d2, intending knight takes pawn on c4. Alehin castle kingside, knight takes on c4, and now Knight to b6. Well, Cole would love to capture the bishop, but then knight takes queen. So he captured the knight. If queen to c2, knight takes on c4, queen takes knight, and black is okay. So in the game we have knight takes on b6, pawn takes knight, attacking the queen, queen to c2. So far, Cole managed to damage Alehin's pawn structure on both the king's side and the queen's side. Hmm, something to boast about. But it may not be enough to win the game. Queen to d7. Knight to e5 attacking the queen. Well, bishop takes knight comes to mind, but Alehin loved his bishop, so he played the queen to e6. Knight to c4, threatening, knight takes bishop. Bishop to e7. Bishop to d2. Rook from f to d8. a4. Knight to e4. Rook from f to d1. Black to move. What would you do now? Hmm? He decided to exchange his double pawn for a healthy white pawn. Bishop to e1. Well, if pawn takes pawn on f4, rook takes on d4. So we have bishop to e1. f takes on e3. Knight takes on e3. What is wrong with pawn takes pawn? Hmm? then probably Alehin would play f5. And the backward pawn is in trouble. So we have knight takes on e3. c6. Well, things have changed. It is now black who has a better pawn structure. Do you agree? Knight to c4, threatening knight takes pawn on b6. How to defend the pawn? Alehin played rook to a6, b4, h6, rook to a3, b5, pawn takes pawn on b5, c takes on b5, and rooks were exchanged. Knight to e5, cutting the communications between the queen and the knight, threatening queen takes knight, black to move. What would you do? 
If it was me, I would play knight to f6. Would you do the same? Alekhin played bishop to f6. Cole thought he was dreaming. He needed to pinch himself. Alekhin dropped the knight. Or maybe this is a trap, he thought. Maybe too much vodka. And he thought, I will take the knight, even if it means winning the game or losing the game. See how he was confused. Okay, so we have queen takes on e4. Bishop takes on e5. f4. If queen takes on e5, queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, black wins. We have f4. Intending pawn takes bishop. But Alehin saved the bishop for a more noble purposes. For this moment, bishop takes on d4. Check. Rook takes bishop. Black to move. Black. Play the move and white resigned. The move is. Rook takes on d4, white resigned. If queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, and this is easily one end game for black. And what if queen takes rook? It's even worse. Queen takes bishop. Check. Mate. Isn't it interesting? Cole used his mighty opening weapon. But it didn't work at all against Alekhin. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.